groups of seven found in the book of Revelation. Seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven vials. These make up the skeletal structure of the book of Revelation. The seven seals are the long story ending at Armageddon. The seven trumpets are the shorter story also ending at Armageddon. And the seven vials are the real short story ending at Armageddon. In 6,000 years of recorded human history, not one war with one million dead. All of a sudden we have this great war, 8.2 million dead. Then, second trumpet, World War II, 52 million dead. One third of the ships destroyed. A great mountain burning with fire. Everything seemed to fit. And then of course, the third trumpet, Chernobyl. This is where God opened my understanding first. I mean, I had always been taught that all the trumpets would exist in a final seven year period. But by that time, God had changed my mind because I, there's really no proof for that. That's a theory that's embraced, but it's not true. The fifth trumpet sounded in 1990, 1991. Now, do you understand what I'm saying to you? I'm saying to you, in the Bible, it said a man by the name of Destroyer is going to unleash the oil fields, the bottomless pit, and the sun and the air will be darkened by reason of smoke. The kingdoms of this world become the kingdoms of our Lord and His Christ. His wrath has come, rewards given to the saints. This is the second coming of Jesus Christ. People who are dead, who have been born again, will be raised from the dead. And when all of us that are still on the earth serving God, we will be changed from mortal to immortality in the twink of an eye. Then we, we will be caught up together with the dead who have raised. Together we will meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Romans 8.11 tells us, if you want to be a part of the rapture, it says, if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body by his spirit that dwelleth in you. You want to make sure you've received the wonderful gift of the Holy Ghost because that's the power that will raise you up in that last day.